Hello, welcome back to the Low IQ Podcast. Carry on. With Cole and Jack. Ooh. And, and Harry's here. Harry's here again. Harry's back. Harry's back. Harry's back. Um, yeah. You liked him on the last episode. You said it was brilliant. You loved him. Yes. You said it was really good. Yeah. And also, right now, since you just clicked on this, you must like us a bit. Can you like oh, the that podcast that right now? Because I always say at the end... We always say at the end, but if you do it now, imagine every one of you watching now, you've clicked on it, if every single one of you liked it. Or oh, what if we, we make loads of likes? What if we make this the most liked video ever? <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> that would that, work. That'll do it. That'll trick that would trickle that. Oh, we should do that thing. You know, do you remember when PewDiePie did it with that uh PewDiePie? <laughs> what? PewDiePie. It's what? PewDiePie. All it's right. A, that's why I don't want to ruin your flow. Go. Doesn't need an accent. What, <laughs> what's wrong? Go on in. Okay. When PewDiePie had that little beef with uh, was it T few? T series. T series. And he did. Like, he they were like racing. We should race like PewDiePie. Who should we race? We need an enemy. Uh, uh, how's Growing Pains doing? Mr. Beast. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. What's a podcast that's similar level to us? No, I'm pretty sure pretty Brian Baines is bigger than we're us. At, we're at the bottom. <laughs> we are <laughs> we're the bottom. The bottom. bottom. Oh, no, Brown. we're bigger than who did you send through now? Who? Who did you send through to me on the rankings? I don't know. Oh, we're back up on the charts. We're on the charts. That's good. We are on the charts. So, so oh, if you're listening on Spotify, make sure you five star and you actually listen because listening helps us. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> you'd think so. It's a fucking actually, pod listen to the podcast. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you could like, we, we'll, I want to make this the, the most liked podcast episode. In the world. Well, no, just on low <laughs> IQ, I thought. But Yeah. And, it, and we'll be able to see it. So brilliant. Yeah. Well, mate, think about how happy we'll be. Yeah. But also <laughs> think the bigger that it gets, the bigger guests, the, the bigger, bigger production, bigger the bigger dick. penis we, have bigger we get dick. in our mouths. Bigger willies. Everything just gets bigger and better. So Exactly. Um, that brings me nicely onto my next topic. Does it, Does it relate? Yeah. It's a penis. Yes. Go on. Yeah. So have you ever had an intrusive thought? Mm -hmm. Like when I get a knife... I think to myself, I could literally stab my mum in the face. I get that all the time. Yeah. yeah. I sometimes get it where I feel like, what if my body forgets that it controls itself? Yeah. And in, like, I, I, I think like, I'm, I'm like buttering some bread and I'm like, what if my body decides to just randomly forget how to work and I'm just stabbing everyone? What, with a butter knife? I don't think you're going to get very far, mate. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm using a big knife, a chopping knife. The butter but... bread? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but that, that's what happens with people. I've seen, yeah. I've seen like, police videos where they call someone and they're like, oh, I just, I just started stabbing them for no reason. I don't know why. Oh, did you yeah. see that one on TikTok where the woman calls up yeah. the police and she's like, I've just killed my mum. I don't know if she's alive. Yeah. And then uh, they're like, well, where is she? And she's like, well, I've got her head in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Can you stitch it back on? She actually asked yeah. her apparently. Can you stitch she it back on? She Jesus. decapitated her and she was like, I, I, I just started stabbing her. I didn't see that. That's horrible. It, yeah. but this is what I'm yeah. saying. Sometimes people just go nutty for like... I think she was a nutcase anyway. Yeah, but you never know how, what makes her nutty. You, you could just turn nutty one day. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, this is God. brilliant. This is a personal story. Yeah. I know <laughs> personally. Okay. okay, so this is fantastic. Go on. Talking of nut jobs, um, I know someone who uh, she'll remain unnamed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I know her. Hopefully, she don't watch this, but basically, her mum. She was fine with her mum. It was perfectly like you with your mum, you with your mum, yeah. living in harmony. And then one day, <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> and one day, <laughs> all right, she starts saying to, uh, let's call her the daughter, let's call her well, Janine. Okay. She's, the mum starts saying to Janine, oh, this weird, like, I can hear helicopters outside. And then she's like, hmm, that's fucked. You're weird, mate. And then days and days keep going by and she's like, oh, um, Janine, I, I, I need to, uh, we need to lock the door. The fucking feds are coming. Like government shit's trying to, they're spying on us. Can you like do something? And then Jan Janine's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And then, and then she knew it was getting fucked when it was like three in the morning and Janine's mum started like banging on her door, trying to break into her, her room with like, weapons and be like janine the fucking government are outside they're trying to i can hear helicopters they're fuck like nice. so her mum has turned schizophrenic randomly like that when 
it just happened randomly. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. it can, you can just suddenly get these weird things yeah. happen to your brain. That yeah. happened to my nan. She, she got cancer and she started just seeing people like roaming about her house. And then she'd say to her boyfriend or whatever it was, be like, oh, what's the face stopped by today? And they'd be like, no, she didn't. Really? How weird's that? Wait, that yeah. could have been dementia as well though, couldn't it? Uh, well, she had cancer. So is she gone? She's dead now, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is... <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> but the, right, the, the thing is though, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. What if you just randomly turn... This is what I'm scared of randomly turning into a nutter. Because, <laughs> and also imagine, imagine plopping out a kid yeah. for that kid to kill you. Yeah, oh, I'd be sucking. fuming. I'd be really like that. Oh, mum yeah, has really. plopped out that kid, yeah. raised it, and it's just he, the kid's just chopped her head off. What, oh, that's like, what yeah. the hell? And as a ghost, she's not gonna have a head now. Yeah, that that's the works? main problem. Is that how <laughs> it works? Yeah, probably. Yeah, right. it's like in scary movie when they're holding their head. I tell you what, I mean? what I did. I, I always get this. Yeah, if I'm on a train, I'll think. Or if like some nutcase came on here and started trying to shoot people, how would I beat the shit out of him? I think that in hotel rooms. Do you? If someone barged in the door now with like a gun, what would I do? Yeah. I'd be like, I'd jump out that window. I'd climb down that beam there. I'd go down there. No, you're on the like top floor, no beams around. What you do? I'd climb. You'd climb. I'd climb. I'd, I'd, do you ever think that when you're high up on like a hotel yeah. or something that you could like, you go, okay, I'll jump to that floor. No. I'll jump around there. You wouldn't jump. You'd go down the drain pipe like a fireman. <laughs> Firemen don't go down drain pipes. Don't they? Well, what's that pole for then? They go down the pole, not f- drain pipes. Yeah, but there's no poles. Pipe. There's no poles on hotels oh, yeah, like that. So, yeah. so they go down the drain pipes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I do get intrusive thoughts. Like when we played tennis the other day and yeah. I had a tennis racket, I thought I could just whack you with this. <laughs> oh, you, you thought that? <laughs> I could just take this and just whack you. And what, what would you do? Nothing. Yeah, oh, I get it when I'm driving. Because the other day I, I saw like a family and I was like, I could just end their life. <laughs> yeah, no, I think to myself, I'm going 100 mile an hour. One, no, 70. The I'm going 70 mile an hour. <laughs> and um, I could easily just go, and you're over. You're dead. You got Everyone it. in your car. Head Everyone in collision. my whip. Yeah, dead. But that's also why I'm scared of flying. Because what if the pilot randomly is like, oh, oh yeah. I could just banter everyone here and just d- head nose dive into a, a lake. Well... That is crazy because you know why they've started introducing the two um, cockpitters? Pilots. <laughs> no, no, there's Co- one There's one Co- pilot. Co- <laughs> there's one pilot and two fucking cockpitters. Co-pilots. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Cockpit. And an engineer. <laughs> I, I think there's one actually. So yeah. there's got to be two people in the cockpit, right? Yeah. That got introduced, I think, because there was a, um, a, a pilot and he was on a school trip. Do you know this? Yeah. And they were, they were, he was taking a fucking, no, he was taking a plane full of school, uh, school kids, right? They were flying over the fucking mountains. This pilot was like, mm, this is bollocks. I hate <laughs> this shit. We locked the door, started nosediving into the mountains, yeah. killed everyone on board. Well, he was suicidal really? kind of thing. Yeah, he yeah. suicided himself. So he, uh, That's crazy. he unalived him. He wanted to unalive himself, but he was like, oh, let's kill some kids. Let's kill some bloody kids while I do it's it. It's selfish, isn't it? It's horrible. What's the it? biggest impulsive thought you've ever got? Have you ever well, act- done it? And done yeah, it. have you ever acted oh. on an impulsive thought? I, I, I actually, I do it a lot where I, I'm like, um, or oh, if I don't do this thing, like my brain's just going to go mental. So yeah. I, I, I'd constantly like <gasps> go down and like check the door. <gasps> I do the same, but I do it with like press ups or some shit. Yeah. So I'll be like, I've got to get to 40 press ups. Yeah. Or I'm going to fucking blow up. Or my mum's going to die. Yeah. 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 Oh, I've got to make this shot or my mum's going to die. This is what this is what I think, right? Because the other day, like I was just walking about and my dog, because I was giving him little snacks, like little snacks. And he was just like by my feet and I was just like walking about and I trid on him and he was like, Arr! how small he's a fucking dog. He's a small dog. And he, and he like, in his head, is he thinking, why has he just squished me? <laughs> or is, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I don't know as why. humans, if someone stood on me, I'd be like, what the fuck? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, like they yeah. don't know what an accident is. They just think you've just squished them. Well, I don't know yeah. because if an ele- if you're in Thailand and an elephant trod on your leg, you'd know. It's yes, an but what I'm saying is we know the difference between an accident and a on purpose. Oh. They don't know what an accident is. They think we've doing we're, we're just squishing them on purpose. Yeah. yeah, and they don't know what an apology is. Yeah, so I'm like, mm. I, yeah. Well, when you stroke them and kiss them in that. Yeah, but they they don't know that's saying sorry for this. They just think you're giving them oh. attention now. That's another good thing. Mm. You know when your dog's licking you and it's got that smelly breath? Yeah. You should not pull away because they're doing that to release endorphins inside them. 
that's why the other day there was it was thundering right. in my it was thundering outside my house and my dog kept licking my hand and I just left it there to let him lick it, even though it smelled shit. Uh, <laughs> because because for them it's comforting they get endorphins i don't give a shit if their breath stink i don't let any dog lick me ever i just yeah. no because they lick me i think it's dirty people yeah. say the dogs have got the fucking nicest mouths in the world they don't mate because i've smelt their breath who says dogs have the no, no one's that's a myth that. no one no it is no i'm telling not. you i'm telling people you that tongue dogs don't say that no 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 no, no. they say the dogs have got the cleanest mouths in the world no one says that they do and you'll see it in the comments oh have you seen that video of that woman getting with like a donkey or something fucking it no no just lips in it oh can we get that video up of oh, that God. woman lips can in a donkey no 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 it's good it's good it's well good. it's like is it it's a horse or a donkey or something woman tongue in donkey uh let's be on you some women and men take horse cock up the up the fanny have you seen the horse fucking girl? Seen, yeah. yeah. Have you seen that's that? That's wild. Yeah. Did you wank it? Yeah. Let's so. see this. Okay. Maybe a it was a horse. Oh, no, that is a donkey, isn't it? Is no. she lips in it? No, there was a, a video of Sorry. a woman lipsing it. Maybe it was a horse. Try typing in horse. <laughs> this is great uh, viewership. Is that it? No? Oh, it's women just getting... Oh, maybe just women get, like, kissing animal. Tongue, women tongue in animal. This will be on a different website, I think. Like a... No, that first one, the first one. I'm pretty sure it's that. Oh, yeah, here it is. Look at this. It's a wolf, mate. Look at oh. that. Oh. Why is she doing that? Oh, She's tonguing oh, a wolf. Bruh. Oh, bruv. What <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Why? <laughs> Why? See, that's what you're meant to do. Release his endorphin. No, I'm not leaving I'm not my fucking that. face there if a dog is doing that to me. And why is there a wolf there? Why is it a wolf? Yeah, that's a bit She's tonguing a wolf. A wild wolf. wolf. She's smart. She's got no instincts. That's fucking grim. You're meant to do it to release their endorphins. You would let a, dog, let a dog do, do yes, that. Yes, you have to. Otherwise, you have to. The, the dog will... Well, it gets a bit sad for the, a minute. No, the dog will start to think you hate it if it doesn't. I don't think they do, mate. Trust My me. dog loves me. Yeah, but if it was tongue in you, it would like you more. <laughs> I bet it would. I know what you do, your fucking dog then, mate. Jesus. So you'd, you'd let your dog do that? Um, If it if it was life or death, if it... If it was life. If, if my dog was feeling depressed... And it was, if my dog could talk and he was like, if you don't lips me, I'm going to off myself. I'd <laughs> okay. Would you, uh, do you, do you uh, get, tug yourself when your dog's in the room? No, I can't let him watch. Yeah, but would he know? He wouldn't know. He knows what a dick is. He wouldn't He's know. got one. He licks it. Yeah, but he wouldn't know what tugging it. It's not the same, is it? When he licks his balls and arse, I'm sure he knows what a ball and arse is. Yeah, but he doesn't, he doesn't know why you're tugging it. <laughs> well, so what does he think then I'm just he just thinks you're messing about, messing about. <laughs> just messing about mm, no I think it's a bit weird if they're in the room watching yeah. and sex as well if you're having sex dog can't dog is like dog tries to like jump up sometimes you know what I mean really no but <laughs> <laughs> so you'd wank if your dog was in the room no why did you challenge me on it then I don't know what about you I've never had a dog so I don't know that's well, you got weird. your mum. from your mum. <laughs> oh. Yeah. ruined my joke because you... Sorry. Went into yours. All right, what's your next topic? Mine. Got it here. Got the cards. So I've like got a few... Uh, hypotheticals. Oh, yeah, I do have a hypothetical. Hypothetical. <laughs> what genetic enhancement could make humanity a better species? That's a good question. A genetic enhancement. Ooh. What would you add to your body to make you more powerful? Oh. Yeah. Is that what it means? Or is it like stop something going wrong sort of thing? Like you can make it so you never go blind. Like some people go blind, but now you can't. Oh, that, maybe it means that, that would improve humanity, Ooh. wouldn't it? Well, let's do either. Like either. when Mr. Beast healed all those blind knobheads. Okay, you could do physical or within. Mm. Ooh. All right. That's good. Oh, no what? pedophiles. What? Yeah, but that's not a genetic enhancement. Yeah, it is. Some people say it's genetic. they're fucked in the head. Yeah, their oh, mind's yeah. messed up. Just stop the fuckerage in the head. Yeah, that's true. pedophiles. I would, um, I'd probably get a fucking third arm. Why would you want a third arm? Because if I've got a third arm coming up my chest, you can, well, do, you can do more. You can. All right, what extra would you do with that arm? Hold groceries. And I'd argue you'd like it on your back because you got two at the front, basically. If you've got one on the back oh, yeah. as well. Maybe eyes on your back. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant. Because, be good. because then if I'm chatting to you lot, some bloke's chatting shit behind me, I can see him. No! I've got it. <laughs> what? 
Fucking wings. You could have wings. Fucking wings. You could get anywhere in like none. I feel like you'd give what? In like no time at all. Yeah, Sports. but I feel like you'd you'd <laughs> give girls the ick if you had wings on your back. No, because I'd have them inverted. They can pop into my back spine and I can just whip them out when I want to fucking flirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the question to improve humanity and yeah. just improve, improve <laughs> you me. flying about everywhere? <laughs> it's not really the same. You, I would make humanity improve with it. I'd do some heroic. Hero I would, I would add a button that you can press mm. and you just fall asleep. Oh, that'd be sick. That'd be really, that'd nice. be really good. So you don't have yeah. to sit there like thinking mm. about it. Although, mm. how would you press it to get back into life? Well, no, well, we, you don't have to press a button when you want to wake up. Do no, you? that's part of it. You well, you, you stay asleep then. What oh, the hell? It's a suicide button. <laughs> <laughs> you're dead. You're dead. Just Maybe that would be a good idea. No, we should add a button that just makes you sleep for the rest Wrong. of your life. Because me and you, and you actually, go on. we sleep very late, 2, 3 a.m. Okay? That's because we go to bed late. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. So let me finish my point. All right. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Jesus. Breathe. <laughs> Whatever. So we go to sleep very late. Yeah. We go to sleep 3 a.m. Our bodies are tired. We don't have to be up at 9 a.m., 8 a.m. for work, all mm. right? So when people are going to like bed at 8, uh, 10 p.m., mm. they're not tired. They're thinking, oh, I'm going to lay for fucking ages trying to get to sleep. We don't have that. So we don't need this button. Wouldn't be any beneficial. Because when I go to sleep, I pop on a little program and I'll be asleep within five minutes. Yeah, but I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like to go to sleep early. And wake Me up too, because, because the early bird catches the worm, as they say. But what worm do you need? I suppose, why, why would you want a worm? <laughs> why the fuck, why is that saying a thing? Why would yeah. you want, uh, no one, I, I don't want a worm. You don't need a worm. It's just figurative for food in general, right? I don't think it's yeah, for food. I think it's for just like general goals. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, if I'm waking up, I'm not going to want an urn. Earn. <laughs> you want to earn money <laughs> your nan <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I want some uh, yeah but even if I do wake up late I can still eat Weetabix you need or uh, toast avocado on toast I can eat that well that's the thing <laughs> it's not, we're not running out of avocado no. on toast and no. it, they say the early bird catches the worm right uh, so you go bed at 10pm wake up at 8 let's say like a boring person yeah. not boring person but like a person who works let's say right yeah. um what are you doing in that fucking early time that you can't do three hours later? Do you know yeah. why I like the night time? Because everyone's asleep and I feel like the world's just dead. Stopped. I am yeah. the big same. Because then I can feel like I'm being productive and I'm like the only person yeah. alive that's awake. Like you're getting ahead of everyone else. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I don't know why, but when yeah. everyone else is awake, I'm getting stressed. Like everyone wants me to do shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everyone's just thinking about me. The whole world's <laughs> just thinking about me. <laughs> yeah. thinking about me. <laughs> I get that as well. When it's peaceful and you've got no distractions, someone's messaging you and shit. Yeah. Apart from you. Yeah. I'm when a... you're telling me about fucking your shits or something. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> apart from that, it's pretty peaceful. Yeah, everyone's sleeping. Dogs all. Gone. What's your favourite saying? Like an early bird catches the worm. I got it. Well, I got one. Um, this is really good. Nothing changes if nothing changes. What? It's brilliant. I don't get it. Well, let me explain. Say you've got a problem. Okay, you're depressed. Mm -hmm. Nothing changes if you do. If you don't do anything. All right. Nothing about changes it. if nothing, nothing changes. changes. So. Um, if you don't start fucking doing something, that's not going to change your situation because you're not doing anything. Nothing uh, changes if nothing changes. Okay, but then you could say actions speak louder than words. It's a really dead one, oh. though. I, do you know what? Actually, this is, this is actually sick because I take screenshots of, like, good little sayings. I, know, yeah. I do that, but I never see them ever again. No, I've actually got some. <laughs> Can I can I say some sayings and you can try and figure out what they mean? Okay, so I'm I'm going to read these proverbs, which is what they're called. Okay, to okay. you, and I want you to figure out the meaning behind Proverb. these proverbs. It's right. what they're called. It's the kind of the scientific term. Yeah. Right. So I've got one here. Go on. Yeah. All that glitters is not gold. Yeah, I've heard that one. Yeah. I haven't heard that. It, one. What do you think it means? I haven't heard that. No. Can I try to decipher it? Go yeah. On. Try and decipher. All that glitters is not gold. Oh, okay. So if a girl comes up to you. Okay. Yeah. 
she's all fucking fancy, pretty. She looks the bollocks. Yeah. All right. And you're thinking, wow, she's 10 out of 10. You take her home. You're getting down and dirty. You've shagged her. Morning, makeup's off. She's talking to you like shit. You think personality's dead. You're still at 10 out of 10, kind of, but your personality's gone. Glitter isn't gold. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, uh, very, very, of, very yeah, a but. very misogynistic way of putting no, it. Is. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it in a way that people would well, the, well, the more, uh, the more philosophical way of putting it is <laughs> something might not be as valuable as it seems to be. It's exactly what I so said. So maybe, that what you said. maybe that Big woman, man. she mm. portrays herself Self, as, as, a, a, as a lovely woman. Yep. But you find inside. out she kills children. Yes. That's mm. exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. That's why I'm not attracted to her anymore because she, she's killed. Exactly. Yeah, All right. Uh, let me give you another one. Um, an idle brain is the devil's workshop. Now that's a tough one. That's Harry. a toughie. I don't know. It's not a toughie if you think about it. Say it again. An idle brain is the not. devil's workshop. I mean, now like, think about this. Idle? I don't know what that if means. you're not idle, you're not doing anything. You're not thinking with your oh. brain... Oh. the devil will come in and make you do bad shit. Mm. So we're talking about pedophiles. If you're not doing anything, you'll molest a kid. It's fine answer. Near fine enough. Answer. So evil <clears throat> thoughts come to us easily when we are idle. Now, what I want you to think about, this is real, because think about it. When you have a wank, <laughs> you don't do it when you're productive. When we're playing tennis, you're not thinking about wanking. wanking. Yeah, but if you're at home, you've got nothing to do. Always. You're like, oh shit. Uh-oh. That is true. The devil's entered. The yeah. devil's workshop is there. Is no. wanking me off. The devil's wanking that's me so off. That's so true, actually. If you're just do you know home, what I mean? You just have a wank and that's bad. Because you're not doing anything. Uh, not you when I'm to. bored and I'm in bed doing work, and I'm like, this is fucking boring. I'll bust out three wanks in a day. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but if, when we're playing tennis, we I'm only not, sometimes You're not thinking about, about wanking. Yeah. Only when I hit a good shot. Only when we hit an ace. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, fuck's sake. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> okay, um, okay. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Because some chickens might be dead. So my thinking behind this one <laughs> yeah. is you've got four eggs. Yeah. All right. You're counting four fucking chickens. You're thinking, I'm buzzing. These are worth yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. You crack the eggs. Three chickens are alive. One is fucking dead. One's just okay, but what, what is the life meaning behind life that? Life meaning is you're getting excited. Don't get overexcited. Don't get excited before you know you got some chickens. Do you know you got four yeah, chickens? Yeah, don't spunkle your money thinking you got money coming or some shit like that. Okay. The real meaning is... Don't make plans based on events that haven't happened yet. So I suppose that's pretty much what we said. You don't want dead chickens, so don't don't, don't feed a family f with four chickens. Don't sell a family a bunch of chickens, chickens in case they die, and you don't know whether it's a dead chicken. That's exactly fucking right. Okay, let's like do, this. Let's, let's do one more. Let's do one one more. Um, strike while the iron is hot. I feel like that's an easy one. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I know what it means, but explaining it's hard, isn't it? No, no. Go on, Harry. It's like strike. When, isn't it? When the on. opportunity's there, grab it. You know. Yeah, that's that's actually perfect. Well, can I describe what sort of story is behind this? Okay, go on. On opportunity. All right. Um, Harry's mum, for example. No, I'm saying when she came out and she called me handsome. When the iron's hot, I should have followed her in the house. Yeah. Exactly. Grab an opportunity at the most favourable time. That, yeah, that's exactly what I said. So uh, if you're not familiar with that story, la last episode, Harry's mum called me handsome. And I'm just... Not on the episode, that. but we discussed that. My How she fucking fantasized. Oh, this is a nice one. <laughs> last one then. Okay. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Poetic. Oh, yeah. We know this. What Come is on. it? I mean, it's if your friend wants a blowy... <laughs> give him a blowy <laughs> <laughs> near enough <laughs> I th yeah it's if your friend is in need of something if he needs a fucking blowy yeah then you're like mate you're a friend indeed I'm gonna fucking suck it till you spunk so you your indeed is needing a blowy so in your in need indeed <laughs> <laughs> that is the way to put it um yeah. a true friend is one who helps you when you need it Blowy. Fantastic. Would Please you, if I needed it, would you? Or are you not a friend? 
That's what you're... Why would you need it, though? If he needed a blowy or he died, would you suck him yeah. off? We're in a game of Saw. Okay. There's a new Saw coming out, actually. Yeah. Shouldn't promote that, because we're not getting paid yet. Right. Um, so we're in a game of Saw. He's, mm -hmm. the, he's the master. We're in a scenario here. Yeah. Go on, you're the Saw guy. Give me and Jack this thing. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? Not really, mate. <laughs> You must suck Jack's penis or I cut <laughs> off his bollocks and kill him. Will you play the game? And now me and Jack are discussing like, Jack, I don't know if I can do this, mate. What do you mean you don't know if you can do this? So I've got, how, how long have I got to suck him off for, mate? You oh. have five minutes to make your choice. No, but how long has he got to slip uh, mine? Until completion. Completion. And can, he, can I just pull out and do it on my face? Because I'm not swallowing it. it he, Good for your skin. It would smell like cheese. It won't, honestly, oh, his spunk would be awful, you know. The, I've eaten yes. pineapples throughout the day. How? What? <laughs> you knew this I've, was going to happen. <laughs> what did I? <laughs> I've hey, set this whole this. game up. <laughs> I might get captured by Jigsaw and have to get right cold as well. Me and Jigsaw are working together. On this. <laughs> um, would I do it? You've got. You can't do it. And I have to. I have to swallow. Uh, no, you don't have to swallow. It'll oh. go on your face. And is he washed? I've washed a little... No, you're not. No, you're all sweaty. You've been locked fine, up. Fine, I'm sweaty. You've been drugged and locked up. Oh, yeah. come on. He's going to All right, fine. I'll suck it. Thank you. <laughs> then that is a friend in need, indeed. A friend in need is in... Friend he's indeed. a friend indeed. All right. And that's the power of philosophy. Wow. <laughs> I kind of want to play this game now because I've been looking forward to this yeah, game. Yeah, this I've game is that. Okay. It's going to be good. So yeah. I've uh, come up with a little game called Guess the Female Product. So I have no idea what Jack he has, has no bought idea here. So so basically, I've my girlfriend has been showing me her tools, and I've sat there. She showed me this tool the other day, which is like an eyelash curler. Okay, and it's the most mental oh, contraption yeah. I've, I've ever seen, seen. It looks like the stuff they use to pry open vaginas. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Is that what you thought it was? Well, no, I I just thought they were like I didn't know what I thought they were. Just fair enough. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. so I was like, oh, flipping hell, that's mad. Fun little game. Okay, let's go. So let's start with the first female, female so, contraption. Jack, you don't know what these are. I don't. I actually We're think I page. actually do know what that is, though, and I tell you why. Because my girlfriend wears these. Well, don't give it away. Okay, I won't. But I know what it is. Harry, do you know what that is? I those two things on it look like hair scrunchies, but that yeah. long thing could be fucking anything. They're hair scrunchies, so I'm guessing. Why would you put that in her hair? She puts the scrunchies in her hair to make like some sort of two two pronged ponytail, and then she uses the big pink fucking dildo thing to just pleasure herself after it <laughs> <laughs> because she's so fucking horny. Um, wrap your hair in it. I think yeah. Wrap your hair around it to make a certain shape. I think that's the fucking shape of a. Well, you can, fish. I think you, you can manipulate that to be whatever. She's trying to make like a fish shape on her head. Well, let me, do you want me to tell you? Because I actually know this before I even okay, pull yeah, this up. Okay, yeah, go on. So, what I believe this is, is girls wear it over their head like that. You know, like Princess Leia has those two things. Yeah. And yeah. they wrap their hair around it. And what it does, it gives it that natural sort of wavy, curly texture. Oh, curls. Oh, yeah. And I tell you why I know yeah. this, because my girlfriend wore this when she was sleeping and she had a dream that it was a snake and she woke up in the middle of the night <laughs> saying she's got a snake in her hair. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> and then you saw that fucking and thing. And then I saw that. And then... You must have been like, actually, yeah, you do. But we were right though, hair. Well, let's, let's, let's reveal. Oh yeah, let's so we are right. Heatless curling cool. rod. Well, there you go. Curling rod. It's a heatless right curling rod. It curls your hair. We're brilliant. Yeah. We know women. We know women. All right, number women. two. What the that's fuck does that mental. do? That's, that's, what is that? That's Saw. That's from Saw, yeah. Oh, I think I know what this is. Uh, go oh, on. I mean, let's be honest. It's got... Okay, so what I'm seeing here is infrared light. I'm yes. seeing some red, yeah. So what I'm thinking is you... Oh, fuck, I just hit myself so hard. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did you do that? <laughs> I don't wrong know. With you? You're not going to have control. I, did, I couldn't feel how far my hand was from my face. Right. Um, oh, mate, it's made my face go fuzzy. <laughs> Um, I think that is like you put it on your face at night and you put some sort of creamy shit on your that face and then it infrareds and then because infrared is probably good for your skin, right? Yeah. So it infrareds, maybe it infrareds your collagen. Just saying what? <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. I think it must have like, um, 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 what's it called? Stimulate the collagen in your mm. fucking head. I reckon it's anti-wrinkling. 
Yeah, I, I think feel like infrared that? anti wrinkles. It emulsifies. What you wear that all night? Yeah, legit all night. Are you wearing that all night though? You're not, are you? No, no. They they just put a bit of cream on. I think they do it like for an hour before bed. Yeah, an hour shit. before bed hour? to get rid of the inkles. <laughs> inkles. We are turning into <laughs> bush. Go on, let's reveal it's funny, it. Funny, skincare. It's skin. It, it, oh yeah, that, it gets rid of wrinkles or spots or something. Go I think slowly, spots. I think slowly. spots. LED light therapy mash. Mashed potato. Mask can treat something. It's ripped. <laughs> what does it, it do? Treats wrinkles. wrinkles. Oh, oh, I called it. Well done. Wow. I called it. Nice. I thought it was spots. Fair We're play. Wrinkles. This. Yeah. How would light like cure wrinkles? LED lights. LED lights do that not cure wrinkles. wrinkles. That's yeah, but it, oh, they, mm, they put, there might be something else though. Might be Girls will buy fucking anything. Next, else, mate. Like. You could sell shit to a girl and they'd love That's it. That's a piss cup. No, I think I've seen this before, but I can't remember what it is. Um, it's definitely piss. <gasps> Isn't it one of them condoms? Oh, a yeah. girl condom. That's a girl condom. No, I've seen a girl condom. No, because it's got a hole in the end. How would, it... would just go through it. Yeah. Um, no, what I've seen girl condoms are like boy condoms, just bigger. <gasps> no, what the fuck is that? Maybe it's like... Um... You put it in your fanny, probably, isn't it? You might put it in your bum. Yeah, maybe. <gasps> maybe it's one of those... It's like one of those eggs... What a love egg! Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, maybe you put it in your bum, and it means you don't go too far where it where it would cause damage. Can it cause damage? No, because you're oh, caught. You yeah. caught with like her, her, her on that plastic rim. Yeah, I I think that's to do with a vagina, and I think it catches blood. Oh, that might. Oh, that might be a period mm -hmm. thing. That looks really big for a period thing, though. No, yeah, but the period would leak out. I've of heard that of it. Isn't it something called like a period cup? Oh, maybe a period. Is that something cup. period cup. But I don't know. Oh, how. yeah, maybe you can just collect the period in and that, you, and you and just you dip. drink it. No, you don't drink. <gasps> Shots. People drink. <laughs> people drink period blood. It's anti-aging. That's not a thing. Or oh, maybe it's embryos. Embryo. They blood. eat the the sac. The sac. That's different. Maybe that's what uh, that midget. I Your like. girlfriend eats my sac. <laughs> <laughs> You've struggled to get that. Out, so, right. <laughs> Would have been so, cool so seriously as well. Your <laughs> girlfriend eats mice. All right. So our final, <laughs> our final answer. It's a period. I think uh, it's yeah, I'm sorry. Men's menstruation. But I don't know how. Menstrual cup. cup. Yeah. Oh, oh boys. Uh, inserted into the vagine to collect blood period. during period. But and then why? You shot it. That's then exactly you, then what you says. get it down the hatch. This is brilliant. We, we've guessed everyone correct. I, I just don't know why you'd do that instead of a tampon or a yeah, fucking I don't pad. Uh, because I imagine you can collect more. Why would you want to mm. collect this? That's, hey, that's, that's, that's we know goes up your bum. We know what that, that goes up your bum. That's an anal dildo that's, that's a butt, butt anal. If that's not going up your bum, you're doing it wrong. It, but might, what is not, it, it what, might be a trick question. What is the little electric mm. prods, prods on the end? Yeah. It's either a vibrator or a hair fucking thing. Something hair. No, I bet that's a hair thing. No, that there's no way they'd make a hair thing look that much like a butt butt bead. Butt bead because butt yeah, bead. if that heats up when it's in your fucking fanny, you're dead. What is the electrical prods though? Maybe uh, it must be heat for the hair. Sure, product. you think that goes in the hair? I think that it would have a handle on it though. If it was where's the, the handle? Yeah. Your hand would burn you, if you hold that. You want to fucking get a proper fucking grip on that grip thing. thing. Shuffing up your fanny. And it's got a suction cup on the bottom so you can put it on the floor <laughs> and suction. fucking ride it. I Oh, I think I know what this might be. It's like a gua sha. What the hell is that? What is that? Have it's, you just spoken Indian to me? <laughs> is it, a gua sha is like you rub it over your face and it like... Uh, it's, again, it just like uh, gets rid of the fat in your face and it makes you all tight. I've got a gua sha, but it's like a rock gua sha. This might be a different oh, I gua think sha. I have seen them That's not a gua sha. I think that might be a gua sha. Gua I think sha. you. I think you either rub it over your head and it just like moves your fat around. If your mum walked in on you rubbing that over your face, <laughs> and your I'd mouth, say I'd say yeah. Thanks for the gua sha treatment. She'd be like, that ain't no gua that sha. That's my. I'm telling you, that's, that's my fucking. That's been up my ass. Yeah. <laughs> that's been up Give my ass, and now it's on your face. <laughs> that's so. been a, okay. I'm gonna go with hair wand. Definitely. Because I, I think, think it's a yeah. trick question because it looks so much like a butt plug. It looks like a butt plug. I'm going to say curler. some kind of face gua sha roller. Okay, peel it off. Hair slowly. Curler, hair curler. Slowly. This is 
curling tong. Yeah. Boom. Told you, I'm good at Designed it. to give your hair long-lasting, big, bouncy look. Now, that's a gua sha. Oh, that's, see, that's a gua sha. Is that, is that what they're called? Yeah, it's gua sha. Oh, yeah. What is it? Just a rock? It's just a rock that you gua sha your face. Yeah, it's like crystal, and it, um, it fucking rubs on your face. That doesn't do shit. You rub a crystal. I, I've, I've, I've heard yeah. it does. It does. It does do I've shit. I've heard it does. What, what, do you, what does? The cream you rub no, in? No, so, or the, the so you rub? put massage oil on your face and you go like this across your face and it like makes you have like a sick jawline. It does. Why? Because it like to distributes it, the fat. Yeah, because you have fat stores that go like this. So you have like a double chip. Oh, so it's yeah. the pressure of it going on your skin. Yeah, you just move it all about. Not the actual stuff in the rock. No, no. Uh, yeah. might do it might, might, be the might give you like energy and some shit yeah. I did want to do a tier list I think we did a good job with that we got I'd say four out of four I reckon yeah four out of four good. yes if you like that we'll do it next time but I did want to do a tier list today guys okay 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 so I'm thinking we do have 15 minutes so we'll do this last thing um, remember right now like oh, yeah. the video we love you like so the video like subscribe the video. all that shit we, we want this to be the most liked obviously. right yeah so tier list now, this is an interesting one because I feel like we might have different answers for this, right? Yeah. So I want to do a yeah. ranking of these five fruits on what we think is the best to worst. Sure. Right? So the four fruits I've got is banana. Oh, good. Grapes. Ooh. Oh, brilliant. Apple. Yeah. Mango. Oh, fantastic. And watermelon. Okay. All good fruits then. Yeah, good yeah, fruits. All yeah, good yeah. fruits. Now, I, I already know my fifth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm saying Wait, your on, fifth on, is on three. Shall we all say our fifth? Okay, all say fifth. Um, you got it. Yep. Ready? Three, three two, two, one. one. Banana. Watermelon. Wow. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I said, so I said banana. What did you say? Banana's your worst. Worst. Fruit. They're mushy. You just, you've, oh, the only fruit you've brought today is a banana. You walked in with a banana. I did, and I ate it, and I'm not a big fan. It's because they they're so mushy, but they're more cal They're the most caloric fruit apart from a date. Are they? Yes. Well, one of. Well, let me tell you why. Because I think watermelon, this is good. Watermelon, think about this, tastes like the worst. The, the best part of a watermelon tastes like the worst part of a cucumber. Think about that for a second. And okay, I'm talking no, about like. the other way around. <clears throat> the worst part of a watermelon tastes like the best bit of a cucumber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the red part of a watermelon is lovely it's fantastic no it's not i like i like um cantaloupe that's good that's my favorite is that the orange thing it's like orange yeah. inside yes yeah, rim mate no no you're the it. black seeds ah no <laughs> um but i i saw this thing on tiktok you might have seen it squeeze lemon over watermelon <laughs> and, <laughs> and it tastes brilliant lemon i did it on watermelon it's fantastic I like watermelon as like a cocktail, but I think when you're actually eating a watermelon, it kind of like, it's kind of like a weird texture and it's kind of too watery. Do you eat the seeds? I eat the seeds. I, I, prefer, eat... I prefer no seeds. I would prefer no seeds, but I don't like, I know people that like pick them out and can't eat it without the seeds. Well, I, I was going to say that my number four was apple because I'm severely allergic to them as well. Why isn't that fifth? Hang but, on, you're severely allergic to one of the fruits and it's not last. Yeah, but I like the taste of it. What's wrong with like Fair apple enough. juice? You yeah. Weird. Okay. What did you say for your fifth, Harry? Apple. So Why? I reckon we put fifth apple. Fine. It gets in your teeth, and it's you have to too pick hard. Up. It's too hard. It's too like hard. Apples, man. It's too and hard to eat. The poison apple of Eden. Think about that. It's true. Yeah, but because it was so delicious, fucking Eve. Ate. No. Yeah, but Eve's just a conniving little. He's a sneaky little bitch. bitch. Okay. Um. Well, we've only got a few minutes left. Here. Okay. So fifth apple. Fifth apple. Fourth watermelon. Okay. Mm. No, 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 no. Fourth banana. For, come on. Come no, on. banana's lovely. I, I like a banana. They're good, but I eat them all the time, so I just spat. But I eat them all the time. I would put mango fourth. Are you Whoa. joking? You're an absolute nuts You're a, pop. Sumi. You're a Fucking dickhead. sue me, pussies. Go on. There's mango no way. Fourth. Mango is so luscious. Such a little fucking nerd. You're such a nerd. You're so Harry. English and British. Mango's up there for me. Dried mango's good. You're no. such a dry. You're dry. Do you like dry mango? Yeah. Everyone loves mango, but watermelon, mango. Have water. you tried dried banana? Now that's a that's a piece of me. Yeah, I have not meat. tried. Oh, that's oh, they're great. But we're not talking about dried. We're talking about nature. So okay. Well, I can see you guys don't agree. So fifth apple, fourth, no wait, fourth watermelon, 
Third, definitely banana. Then. All right, we'll say banana. Come on, thank you. I'd put grapes below banana. No. You are a fucking oh, moron. You. Think about how nice it is when you pop a grape into your ass. But into your... Into your... Have you tried cotton candy grapes? No, someone's told me about that. Mate, it's... Un- if you haven't tried cotton they candy grapes, oh my... It tastes like cotton candy. The well, green ones, the big green ones. And no, it's no, cotton candy. they cool cotton candy grapes. Yeah, but they... <laughs> cotton candy <laughs> tastes like candy's flip flops <laughs> no, they are green they're green grapes yeah, yeah. they're like cotton candy when you get a fucking lovely grape yeah just think about <laughs> just think about how <laughs> analysis from Carl there. think about yeah. how you take that bite and it just pops juice into your face oh but you like that have you tried yeah. a frozen grape as well oh. even better frozen grapes frozen grapes are the or, one. or no, never. get a grape put it in icing sugar I Bob's your uncle. That's no, trust well, me. I've never tried it, but it's all the right sweet, bit of sour, lovely. So I'm so, saying grapes number one. No mango. No, grapes then mango. Okay, grapes, mango. Grapes, mango, banana, watermelon, apple. Yeah. Grapes, sure. mango, banana, watermelon, mango. That's every but- <laughs> <laughs> grapes, <laughs> mango. <laughs> what is it? Grapes, grapes mango. mango, banana, watermelon, apple. Bob's your uncle. If you disagree. You're a nonce. Put no, it in the if comments. you disagree, put it in the comments. Put, yeah. put what your top five in the comments are, okay? Yeah. And now we're going to move on to the game. Truth or lie. Truth or lie. And this, this is going to be a good one. You know the game. Cole's got a card. It's either got a truth on it or a lie on it. We have to guess truth or lie. I haven't seen the card either. Want to do a jingle? This time it's... Uh, this time nah, it's... No, no jingle. Okay. <laughs> do a little mini jingle. Okay, mini jingle. Ready? Give it literally five seconds. Yeah. Ready? Truth or lie, 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 truth or lie. Just quickly, before we get into the game, do you think we could actually like a cappella each other, just naturally? No. No, let's just I don't think we're the right baritones. Okay, you start and I will get an octave higher than you then. And then you get to an octave lower. Okay. Just any... Yeah. Get Find a note, but it can't be flat. It's probably going to be flat. Uh, oh, that's so flat. Oh, uh, let me let me start. Let me make the note. You, go, that was good. That wasn't go good. On, that, was an, that was that was that was flat. That was Wait. like an E minor. You don't know that. Uh, that was good. That, that was, sounded quite good. That Sign was pretty, up. Yeah, that was pretty good. So that's truth or lie. Um, <laughs> here we it. go. That's the end. I don't look. Okay, look now. Okay. I have stolen over one thousand pounds worth of items from hotels. Hmm. Okay. Are what you, are you guessing that it's over a thousand, or have you added up? Um, I would assume that is added up over a thousand pounds. What's the most expensive so, item you've taken? I've. I always take uh, a towel. Every hotel I go in, I take a towel. And if they've got a robe, I'll take the robe. Um, I'm not really, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a thief because you pay for the robe. Really? <laughs> I would call you a thief. I'd call you a thief. The no. towel you can't the, take. the amount. I-, I would, I would go as far as saying that this argument is flawed because if you was to pay to go to Disneyland and you stole. You stole Mickey Mouse. You stole Mickey Mouse, you would be <laughs> okay, a thief. Okay, fine. I might be a thief, but. I think it's justified. Because, you think you're a moral thief? Yeah, because I've used these towels. I've used the robe. Um, I want to take it. That's not okay. But a towel, they're probably paying a couple, a couple, couple, couple. <laughs> Jesus, up and go, gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> they're probably paying a couple squid for that. It's not. They're not expensive. So the, the robe. So I how are you getting to a thousand quid? Just a lot of towels. You are not stealing 500 towels. No, I'm not stealing 500 towels. Where are you keeping all these towels? Yeah, what do you need all these you, towels for? I don't need all these towels. So why are you taking them? Where are the towels? It's just over the years, I've taken a lot of towels. But where are the towels? That's 500 got, towels. Yeah, so where so are- I've got fi- It's not just towels. I've got a few robes and I've got, a f- I actually took, I know you're not going to believe me. <laughs> you're right about that. <laughs> 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 I've taken three kettles. Yeah, you kettles. haven't you, taken a Why would you need more kettle. than one kettle anyway? Because over years, mate. <laughs> but I would say you could just buy one nice kettle. You don't need to steal those shit hotel kettles. The most expensive thing I took was I have been recent, and this was recent actually, because I've been getting into my art. I want a painting. <laughs> you haven't taken a painting. 
I took a painting. Painting that's, or that's, painting? What? Painting or painting? Oh, painting. I took a painting and a painting. All right. Hey. <laughs> I took a painting. It was... What was oh. the painting of? Go. Yeah, go on. Sunset. Ooh. You did not take a sunset. I did take a sunset and it's not even in my room. It's downstairs in the living room. Did you take it thinking I've got the perfect place for this or were you just like, I'm having that? Uh, I thought I'm having that and I thought, how am I going to get it out? And I was on the, it was like a, I don't know if it was a travel lodge or a Premier Inn and I was on the bottom floor. So I put out the window and I was parked in the car park. It's a perfect plan. <laughs> it worked a fucking treat, mate. Let's hope Premier Inn aren't watching this. <laughs> yeah. No brand deal <laughs> All their sunset paintings have been wrong. <laughs> yeah. Do you want um, to steal the hairdryer? No. Any what uh, name some other things you've stolen? The hairdryer is always um secured. Not in the fancy ones. And the hangers are always secured, so I can't take them. Mm. I'm guessing you take the toiletries. They're quite small, so they're yeah. not that worth that much. <laughs> Just the expensive. <laughs> yeah, but you're stuff. not get buying you're not taking them to sell, are you? No. Not really, no. I stole but, loads from Turkey when I was there. Well, exactly. Yeah. People people steal from hotel rooms. They don't steal yeah, paintings. Not the paintings though. Or kettles. Or kettles. Well. I do. You ever stolen iron? Uh, no. Stolen any bedding, I... like a pillow? I stole a nice duvet. Tell you what, the pillows are. But I took the duvet. Yeah. yeah. I took the duvet out of the sheet. And I took the sheet. <laughs> you Why? took the sheet of a duvet. Yeah. Where, where's Does the it sheet? Nice? What do you mean, where's the sheet? Okay. My drying cupboard, I imagine. Oh, so you still use the sheet? I still use the sheet. It's very. It was really nice sheet. It was like a it had embroidery on the bottom, like yellow fucking. What color was it? Cream. Cream. What the sheet was cream or the embroidery? The sheet was cream. Embroidery. There's yeah. no cream sheets in hotels. You don't. Know, you have okay. white sheets in hotels. Yeah, they're always white. Okay. I don't. Think, I've never cream seen a sheet, cream sheet. Cream sheet. You're maybe cream. like the over bedding part, not the actual. No, part. it was a sheet for the duvet. That was cream and it had yellow embroidery. So where are all these... Are you still got all three kettles? I have no kettles. You don't own a kettle? <laughs> no. <anymore>. They're very... <laughs> no, I have a kettle, but not one from a hotel. <laughs> they're not actually good kettles. So I stopped taking them like two years ago. Okay. Um, so yeah. I think he might have done. You think he's taken kettles and paintings from a hotel? He's the sort of guy that would be like, I'm just having that. Oh, race shorts. No, not because of that. Fucking <laughs> yeah. hell. He's telling he the looks, truth. He looks the type. That's <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you just said. <laughs> that is what you just said. <laughs> Personality. <laughs> God, thanks. <laughs> okay. So Surely that can't I'm, be true. I don't want it to be true, but I'm leaning towards truth. You do do weird things like that, though. Yeah. Like what? You're just off the rails a bit. Yeah, you are. Just be crazy. You just, you just scream every now and then for no reason. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You, you you fend for yourself. Yeah, well, it's dog eat dog world, mate. It's true. It's not wrong. I don't understand that. Dog eat dog is like, like if I was going against the someone, grain. who the grain? No, if I was going against someone. What do you mean? No, that you're going against the grain, aren't you? No, dog eat dog is like if you don't do this, someone else will do it. Yeah, yeah, but why is a dog eating a dog? They're not. Joking. They're not actually in yes, but This is what I'm saying. It's a stupid matter. Well, just guess, guess my fucking thing. It's like the dog's bollocks, wasn't it? Why are they so... Yeah, that's true. That's a weird one. What's guess nice if dog? I'm telling the truth or okay. not. Okay. <laughs> uh, you are... I'm telling the truth. Are you going for truth? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going for truth. Look at me in the eye. Tell me you're telling the truth. No, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> huh? That's a double that fucked your fucking just thing. speak to me for a minute. What do you want me to say? Hi, my name's Colin Aston James. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell, <laughs> tell, me, tell, tell me, 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 tell me the card, what the card said in my eyes. What is exact work? No, no, just <clears> roughly. <throat> I have stolen, I would say, more than a thousand pounds worth of supplies from a hotel room. He's telling the truth. I think he's telling the truth. Uh, he's telling the truth. I can just tell. So I am a master it. at Boggadoo Boggadoo. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Body language. Is that your final answer? Yes, you're telling yeah, the truth. Yeah, final answer, telling the truth. 
It was a lie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Fuck. Was that a good lie? Was it? You convinced me. Really? The painting threw me off a bit. The kettles for it. Uh, the kettles. I, were I, there, I was yeah. thinking, how the fuck am I going to steal a thousand? When you said that's five hundred towels, I was like, shit. Yeah, it is a lot of towels. Yeah, there's a lot of towels, <laughs> and I was thinking, I need something else here. <laughs> I need a painting or some math shit. On this. Yeah. So there you go. I'm a good liar. I'm I'm surprised done. you didn't get that then, because we yeah. lie together all the time. Yeah, my body language was just thrown was off. <laughs> you were, you were, yeah, you were passing grains between. Yeah, you, apparently. you were off the grains, so I kind of my off. grains were off. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the end of the episode. I hope you liked so far. If you're not sleeping right now, I love you. Um, Jack loves you too. He's getting a bit, yeah, getting a bit fidgety right. now, isn't he? All right. <laughs> uh, Harry loves you too. I love you all. Thank you, thank you. Bored now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Love you lots. Watch, uh, tell and us stuff. what you want in the comments. Could we do any? Yeah, tell us some fun want? little games as well. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. Puff. Anything to change? Do you want it to be more relaxed? Do you want get rid of Harry? <laughs> do you want Harry gone? Do you want a batch back? It's only Sorry, no. There, there will be, there, there's guests. I'm and only tell us here when there's no guests. Tell basically. us. Do you like Cole's ear piercing? <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're in the What's so funny about that? Where, where does that come from? That's so out of the blue. Just so out of the blue. I didn't even know so you he just looked at me like, that's fine. That's great. I did. I didn't even know you had that. You something. must have. You've known me for That's men's Why have you got that part of your ear pissed? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny what is is that your septum oh no that's no, your, that's your nose. I don't even know what it is I don't know what that is but it's meant to get rid of that anyway goodbye everyone Tell, uh, let us know whether Cole should get rid of that for the next episode if you can see it because that is, <laughs> that is vile bye bye uh.